Hey guys, so today I decided to go into the woods to test off my knives, uh, my SC Laser Strike and uh, my uh, new knife, the Spyderco Bushcraft knife. So first we are gonna do a sheath comparison. So the SC Laser Strike has a Kydex sheath and uh, the Spyderco uh, Bushcraft has a leather sheath. Sometimes the Spyderco is a bit tricky to put back in the sheath, uh, it's no problem with the, the Laser Strike. This is mainly due to the plastic inserts in, inside the, the leather. Once you would get used to it, uh, it's pretty, pretty easy. Uh, another big advantage of uh, the AC uh, sheath is that you can easily take it off or take it on you, on your belt uh, without having to remove your belt. So now we're gonna do a size comparison. So you can see the Spyderco Bushcraft, and uh, it's compared to, to the SC Laser Strike. It's a bit smaller. Uh, it's a bit bigger than the Opinel uh, Number Eight, and a lot bigger than <laughs> my SC Kandiru. The blade length on the um, Spider Bushcraft is uh, 4 inches, on the SC it's uh, 4 and a half without the child. Uh, the Spider Bushcraft has actually the same uh, blade length uh, than uh, my uh, Benchmade 710. Both of uh, the knives are full tang. Uh, the SC has a My Carter uh, handle and the Spider Co has G10 uh, handle. On the SC, it has a 5mm uh, thick uh, blade, and the Spyderco Bushcraft has a 4mm uh, thick blade. But as you can see, uh, the tip on uh, the uh, Bushcraft is actually thicker than on the SC. So the steel of uh, the Spyderco Bushcraft is 012 steel and on the uh, SC it's uh, 1095 so they are both uh, carbon steel very nice uh, I'm a big fan of uh, 1095 it's my first 01 so we're gonna compare them as you can see uh, the SC has jumping. Uh, there's none on the on the Spyderco Bushcraft, but it, I didn't find it was a, a problem. The Spyderco doesn't have a choil, but we will see that it's a good point sometime. The edge geometry on the Spyderco Bushcraft is a Scandi edge. The edge of the SC Laser Strike is a standard uh, VH, slightly convex because of the strapping. So let's see how they cut paper. We will uh, do the same thing after the experiment. Now we are going to see the first test. 
it's battling. Uh, it's, a f it's the first thing you do when you're doing a one stick fire. So I decided to start with that. So I cut uh, a log. Uh, they're almost the same size. And uh, we'll see how each knife uh, can split them. Sorry for the tripod. I didn't think of uh, how I put it. From what I've tested uh, with both knives, I'd say that um, the Spider Co Bushcraft uh, splits a little better uh, than uh, the, the SC. Uh, but uh, the blade length on the SC helps a lot uh, with battening. So I'd say it's a, it's, it's a tie because uh, you're going to have more trouble uh, with battening with a smaller blade uh, with the, the Spider Co Bushcraft. I've seen no edge to deformation or rolling or anything on both blades uh, after doing this uh, buttoning. Now we're gonna do uh, what looks like uh, one stick fire. We're gonna split uh, two sticks and then I'll make a feather stick with them.
so as you can see the AC makes uh, some uh, really fine shavings uh, it doesn't really bite into the woods The spider go bushcraft uh, bites a lot more yeah, into the woods, so it's yeah, it's you can say sometimes it's a bit uh, harder to do to make thin shavings, but it's a lot easier to make feather stick. The problem uh, with the choil is that when you do a hammer grip, uh, when you, you really need the strength, strength uh, for such carving as a feather stick, um, you you can't uh, you can choke on the blade uh, with uh, the SC. Um, if you want to choke on the blade, uh, despite the choil, uh, your first finger, the index finger, uh, will not be as tight. Uh, as uh, if it were on the on the handle, so yeah, it's uh, it's primarily uh, the big uh, thing I have against the SE is uh, that soil that uh, is really really not uh, is re that is really nice for fine fat carving, but it's really not good when you want to have a strong uh, grip. When I tried deep cuts uh, with the SC, uh, as you can see, it doesn't bite uh, a lot into the wood. I'm trying as hard as I can, and uh, but with the spider cobush craft, uh, it's uh, a lot uh, easier. Actually, it cuts it cuts better uh, into the wood. Say so to cut this. Uh, I need three tries with the uh, seed. It's a lot more. Another bushcraft uh, thing is to make uh, ten pegs. So I tried to make a uh, ten peg. So first, uh, I button the 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 branch, and then uh, I made a, a X notch.
To me, uh, as the spider could bushcraft cuts uh, better uh, into the woods, I I could say it's a little easier with the spider could bushcraft, but not so much. And in the end, I can do the same uh, with both knives. So I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that uh, use their knife as a fire striker. So I tried uh, I tried to compare uh, the three first first the striker of the the light my fire fire steel uh, then I tried the SE as you can see uh, because of the coat coating it's a really nice coating but that protects the blade from rusting but it doesn't uh, make sparks however on the spider bushcraft uh, it's uh, amazing the sparks are huge and uh, with uh, with that uh, I can uh, light a fire much easier than uh, with the striker uh, of the light my fire fire steel. So after all uh, this uh, wood processing we're gonna uh, see how the edge is holding. So the spider could bushcraft cut pretty, pretty nice, I see a difference uh, with uh, before but uh, it's, it's nice. On the SC, I thought it would hold the uh, old um, edge uh, better, actually, um, but uh, it's, uh, it's not, uh, not as good as uh, it was. Uh, I'm surprised by this result, uh, I, uh, as I I said I'm a big fan of the of the 1095, but uh, yeah, one wins in this case. The big uh, thing I like about 1095 uh, and 01 is that you just have to strap uh, the blade on the leather with strapping compound, and uh, after like 20 20 passes. Uh, it cuts uh, just like before. The both both knife, uh, we don't see it uh, much, but uh, they were sh air shaving sharp uh, after this. One thing you got to do is uh, oil the blade. Uh, even on the C, the coating is nice, but uh, on the edge, uh, the it will it will rust if you don't uh, use it. One important point uh, is uh, the price point. Uh, it's uh, 225 euros uh, on the Spyderco and only uh, 150 for the SC Laser Strike. So yeah, it's a big, big difference. To sum up, uh, the Spyderco bushcraft is better for for bushcraft, but uh, the SC is really, really nice knife. The handle is not as comfortable as the Spyderco, but uh, it's 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 pretty good. Uh, a laser strike with a better uh, rounded uh, handle without uh, the, 
the choil would be a really really nice knife. However, the Spyderco is uh, it's it's really good. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.